Hello community, my name is Jonathan Hash and Michael Yates has been kind enough to let me take over the Ridgeview podcast this week. My special guest is Michael Yates. So welcome, thank round of applause. You. Thank you, thank you. I still you. don't know what to do with my hands. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to butt in and let me ask you random questions for a change. Absolutely, I love this. I love the passing of the guard. <laughs> Um, today, the topic I thought we would talk about is labels and parts, and I thought how maybe like this um, this affects community. It's, it's a bit more about uh, individuals in our community. So, like the first question I guess I'll ask to like kind of kick this off is, um, what labels do you give yourself? I guess like what parts do you have? For example, um, right now I'm Jonathan the host, but other times I might be. Jonathan the counselor or Jonathan the pickleball player. Yes. Um, so what kind of labels or parts would you say Ooh, you have? That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. It's funny that yesterday uh, Brian and I were meeting with some folks from UT, uh, College of Social Work and SWARPS. Uh, yes, shout out to those folks. And they, we were doing basic introductions, and I said, I'm the court jester and joker here at Ridgeview. <laughs> okay. so, no, you know, it probably was not the most professional thing to say at the time, uh, but it was a label, and I sometimes do view myself okay. as, a, as a jokester, not trying to take too, things too seriously. Okay. But definitely father. Mm -hmm. Husband, son, uh, hopefully friend. Uh, uh, I would agree with friend. All right, so, okay, um, all right, good. Um, yeah, those are all good. And I think like if uh, when people start to kind of like do that work on themselves, they'll find that they have a lot of labels yeah. and a lot of parts. And it's kind of depending on the situation, who drives the bus up here. Yeah. Um, and um, as, uh, as, like, as far as the community goes, sometimes people have been given labels mm -hmm. from their community. Um, sometimes a good label, sometimes a not so positive label. Yeah. Um, so can you think to a time when you have received a label from someone else that wasn't so kind? Yes, I remember, I just you bringing that up, I'm immediately rewind to like, uh, sixth, seventh grade, mm -hmm. uh, when we had moved from Michigan uh, to the uh, East Tennessee, and uh, I was nicknamed Goose because I had this extremely long, thin okay. neck, and it was a label that uh, still sticks with me uh -huh. today. Can you believe, like, you bring but, that up, and I immediately yep. rewind all the way to... We're oh. quick to find those, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> um, what would the jester say about the goose? Uh, wear it with pride. Okay. Hold that neck up high and that head up high, <laughs> chin out, shoulders back. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and we're so quick to think about those negative mm -hmm. labels we give, and it does it, and all of that helps like shape our uh. personality. Um, and so like as a community, um, I guess like the challenge is I want to just see people give each other positive labels mm -hmm. and like when people are doing their own individual work, yeah. I want to see them internalize something positive about ourselves. They say that um, for every one negative thing you hear, it takes seven positive things to count. Yeah, that. Yep. The, um, yeah, the balance of those so, things. Mm. Um, there's one of my favorite songs has a lyric that's spread love like violence. Um, and that's just one of my... Who, who, who is that? Uh, it's a band called Angels and Airwaves. Okay. Um, one of my favorite bands. Right. Um, and that, that lyric, spread love like violence, is just like... Yeah, that's cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, good. So continuing with like the label thing, um, people come into Ridgeview sometimes, and maybe if it's their first go with mental health, they'll find they receive a diagnosis. Yeah. Um, and there's we we both got uh, mental health awareness yep. T-shirts. Yep. So ending stigma. There's a lot of stigma that comes with a mental health diagnosis, yeah. right? Um, and I would like to see the world be able to take those labels mm. 
and see how they're tools to help. Yeah. For example, I, um, last year I received a PTSD diagnosis. Mm. Um, a lot of people assume that, oh, I, I panic mm. or I have those, that tendency to shut down. And doing my own work, I looked at, well, how is that PTSD diagnosis actually a protective factor mm -hmm. for me? So, um, do you do you feel like our our therapists here are kind of trained to explain mm -hmm. the diagnosis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you... man, what a great a great question. And you know, it is it is it's strange, weird how for billing purposes, for medical purposes, you need to assign a diagnosis and a code mm -hmm. to uh, trigger a series of activities for uh, a service to be provided. Yeah. And it too often people, because of that code and that diagnosis, can suddenly think that they are locked in. That defines who they are. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think one of the things that Ridgeview does beautifully is we try to uh, untether uh, the, 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 the label, the diagnosis, the code from the person, that they are much more than that. Uh, but it can be a helpful way to better understand your own life experiences, maybe what's happened to you as opposed to what's wrong with you, uh, and give them a way to see, oh, there, there is a pathway to uh, what well, hope, healing, and recovery to get treatment to address that medical condition. Right, right. Um, and you kind of spoiled my ending, oh. and that, no, but no, I think it was good. We, we probably should have just, it shouldn't have been an ending. We probably should have just led with it that labels don't have to define us. Yeah. Um, it, it can be a tool to yeah. navigate, like yeah. you said, but they don't make us who we are. Because somebody called you Goose, you're not Michael the Goose. Yes, I don't yeah, think anybody yeah, here knows you as yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> um, they do now. Um, <laughs> Michael the Jester. Right. I, that, yes. That's got a nice ring to yes, it. So. Yes. Um, but yes, yeah, so. Uh, I think that's ultimately what I'd like to see yeah. the... Well, do you and, see that in the groups that you facilitate and that right. you lead? Because I'm sure if you're talking about that amongst people enrolled in, the, in this program, yes. they must have these epiphanies of and relief. Like, oh, th right. you're right. Thank you. We do. I actually, a lot of my groups, um, when it's not just education about what substances do to you, is a lot of identity exploration. Uh -huh. um, my clients are all in recovery, and so that addict label has consumed them. And like even like in the meetings, it's, hi, I'm Jonathan, I'm uh -huh. an addict. Um, yeah. And that label is very defining. Uh -huh. And I, I would like to get that point across to them that like, you might have this addiction, but it does not mean it has to define you. Uh -huh. um, and in addiction, uh, they lose so much of their identity to it mm -hmm. that they forget about the things they enjoyed or the people that were important to them. Mm -hmm. So they've kind of put aside that mm -hmm. father or mother role, that um, that person that enjoyed football games mm -hmm. or reading a book or going out for coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a part of the recovery is finding that again. So mm -hmm. real recovery looks like starting to look into your identity. And so we do like, maybe like a Myers-Briggs, yeah, uh, like a neat. quick Myers-Briggs. We yeah. don't have time for like the 400 yeah. questions, but yeah. the quick version. Yeah, yeah. And it's, um, and then we just kind of look at uh, a little overview yeah. of their personality types and be like, how yeah. is this a tool that we can navigate? Yeah. That's such a fun tool too, because mm -hmm. you know, every time I've done it, it's always like, I'm, I always end up the same mm -hmm. every time, but it's like, yep, that is. <laughs> So That's I'm me. A, <laughs> uh, I'm an ENFJ. Um, I'm always an ENFJ. Uh, but I found that that because we'll do it every six months or so. Uh -huh. Sometimes people change, uh -huh. um, yeah. and that's okay. You can change your labels. Yep. Um, INFP. So, yeah. Right here. <laughs> um, so, looking at identity and um, 
just kind of exploring that yeah. I think leads to like real recovery and you can also do that with not just substance abuse, but yeah. like your mental health. Or, yeah. Um, and even in, I, I love the, this topic because it scaffolds its way up. And I think about an agency identity, mm -hmm. uh, an agency culture, uh, you know, how, what sort of labels do we associate with, you know, uh, and I've, I've, we've never done that before, but it'd be fun to kind of ask programs, teams, staff, what sort of labels would you associate with uh, being here at Ridgeview as a Ridgeview employee mm -hmm. or of the, the culture of Ridgeview? Yeah. Uh, positively, negatively, you know, because it's, it's not one of those, you know, it's... Uh, there's probably a rich tapestry of labels that would, you know, everyone would kind of ne be neat to yes. identify. Uh, I mean, we're coming up on the end of the year. Maybe that's like part of the end of the year survey for yeah. all the programs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, you normally get to ask me random questions. So I've prepared a couple random questions for you. Uh-oh. So, Michael Yates, what is your favorite dinosaur? Hmm. Uh, uh, you know, you say dinosaur, and immediately T. Rex comes to mind, but only because I'm uh, uh, frightened by it. Uh, <laughs> but I, I'd say maybe the one that's around today, like an alligator okay. or a crocodile. Okay. Not the cockroach. Or the megalodons <laughs> that, that are like peaked out 25,000 years ago and they're like, yeah, we're, we're good. Okay, cool. I, I am um, I, you arguably still around today. I like the Plesiosaurus. Um, or the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, so, okay, um, all right. Yeah, because that was like, we're gonna have to, what is ar that? Arguably, yeah. um, okay. that, um, I think that's another podcast, oh, but. Um, yeah. Okay, um, what TV character do you most identify with? Oh, right now, I, immediately, Ted Lasso. Oh, I knew you were gonna say Ted, Ted Lasso. Lasso. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't have Apple TV, but I, that's like very much on my yeah. watch list. Yeah. So. Um, why Ted Lasso? Um, I like just his whole, if you've not seen it, his way of being with a team of people. Uh, he has this, you know, I believe, you know, that part of making a difference is just believing in a, a bigger thing than yourself, a greater thing than yourself. Uh, he never seemed to take himself too seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, um, he... Uh, he he wears a visor, mm -hmm. and when I'm exercising, I always wear a visor. <laughs> I'm like, I like that guy. He wears a visor, uh, and he really doesn't know a whole lot about soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know a lot about soccer, <laughs> but you know, it's uh, coaching mm -hmm. uh, and rallying a team uh, can look can be applicable in lots of different ways to get people to pull together and work together and yeah so I, I've, okay yeah. so sounds like a leader mm -hmm. sounds like a bit of a jester yeah um yeah. and he wears a visor yeah a visor wearer yes. that can be a small yes. label and a uh, mustache so and <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna shave this off and just have a mustache <laughs> there you go see we came full circle with the label thing <laughs> ruth is gonna uh, freak out <laughs> <laughs> um oh see now I've, I've forgotten all my questions um so um if there was one song I could listen to that would always remind me of Michael Yates, what would that song be? Man, immediately. Led Zeppelin's Thank You. Okay. Yep. So if, you had, if you've one. not listened to it, look it up. Right. Uh, it's an uh, excellent song. Uh, it may bring a tear to my eye right mm -hmm. now, but yeah, I love Led Zeppelin, and it's one of those songs that is... Uh, the truth in that song is always eternal to okay. me. Yeah. Awesome. Well, cool. Thanks for letting me take over. Um, this is so much this fun. Is, we got to do this so, again. Okay, and I, I can invade it again, and then we'll, we'll come up with some fun topics, and I'll, I'll think of even better um, 
uh, uh, icebreaker questions. I love it. I cool. love it. Yeah, let's let's do it again. Awesome. A great topic. Uh, thank you for bringing it to us mm -hmm. and for allowing me to be part of it. So yeah, absolutely. You. So I can do the sign off. Yes. All right. And don't forget to hit your button. Okay. So um, thanks for joining in. Like and subscribe. Ring the bell. Uh, that's what all the the podcasters say. Yeah. So uh, do that. And then just remember that your labels don't define you, um, but if you can focus on the good ones, they might be good tools for you. Um, and until next time, spread love like violence.